गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास माई सेल्फ पूजा कुशवाहा लेट स्टार्ट टूडेज वीडियो यस्टरडे आई गेव यू अ होमवर्क दैट इज टेस्ट ऑफ स्टार्च इफ यू कैन डू एट योर होम सो आई होप यू ऑल हैव ट्राइड टू डू द टेस्ट ऑफ स्टार्च एंड सक्सीडेड ऑल्सो वेल डन स्टूडेंट्स लेट स्टार्ट आर टूडेज लेक्चर Uh, on the lesson टू which is components of food. This is our third lecture on the second chapter. Okay. Okay, let's continue the test. Yesterday we are doing the test ना test for the carbohydrate. Let's uh, today we have started with the test for protein. Test for protein. proteins okay for the test of the protein the food item that you want to test make it in the form of powder or paste okay so firstly firstly make a paste make a paste or powder or powder of the food item of the food item that you want to test okay that you want to test now put some small quantity or put a small quantity quantity small quantity in a test tube in a test tube and add 10 drops of water count the drops of water it should be 10 10 drops of water in the test in any test accuracy accuracy is very important okay shake it well shake the test tube well now using a dropper now using a dropper add two drops of two drops of two drops of solution of copper sulfate you get these uh, solutions from the lab two drops of copper sulfate and then add 10 drops of count the drops 10 drops of solution of caustic soda caustic soda to the test tube to the test tube shake well means mix it shake well and let the let the test tube stand for few minutes for few minutes okay can you see any changes in this test tube in the color of the uh, food item yes you will see a violet color so a violet color a violet 
color indicates indicates presence of presence of proteins proteins in the food item in the food items in the food item that you have taken i think you understand the process of doing the test for the protein okay if you have doubt you should watch this video two or three times after that you can clear your queries by comments okay let let's proceed to the next test that is the test for fats okay this test is easiest test of all you can do it very easily okay for it test for fat test for fats for doing the test for fat take a small quantity of food item take a small quantity of a food item wrap it wrap it in a piece of paper paper it can be newspaper also it okay and crush it like this if you are taking any paper so you should crush it like this and crush it but while you are crushing take care that the paper does not tear okay don't let it tear now straighten the paper and observe it carefully okay now straighten the paper and observe it carefully does it have any oily patch yes or no okay now hold the paper against the light are you able to see the light properly through this patch i think your answer will be no yes you are right answer will be no so an oily patch an oily patch on the paper on the paper shows that shows that the food items that the food item contains fat is it easy or not easy na okay if no oily patch shows up it means food item doesn't contains any fat okay so we have tested uh we have tested three food items till now no carbohydrate protein and fat so i will continue tomorrow as your homework you can do the test for the fat it is your homework uh, you can do the test for fat uh, see you tomorrow with the another lecture thank you for watching students if you want to take the screenshot you can take it okay you can take it okay thank you all